everyone, AG Dolls Down Under without makeup here today, joined with Raven and Sonali, and I have two packages to open. Um, so I have a package from Facebook Marketplace, uh, it's just a group that I'm in of Australian sellers of American Girl items, and then I also have my Amazon package of a new doll. I'm just going to start with these two here. Okie dokie. So these are both pleasant company, not, yes, both pleasant company outfits for Girl of Today dolls. The first is two little black flats with some gold at the tip. So pretty. It is the, oh, this is really lovely quality. This gold dress with stars. This is so pretty. This is going to be good for AG Ren Fair week too. It's got Velcro at the back. It's all lined. No, just the top is lined and it's got the lovely piping at the tip too. Gorgeous. Uh, next is a yoga outfit. Now I know the shoes are probably, yeah, the shoes are cracking a little bit, but I can still use them for a bit longer. These are really fun. The inside feels like a real shoe. And they're all weird and grippy on the bottom. So these shoes. It comes with oh, an American Girl bag with a yoga mat. It's held together with hair tie. But that is so fun. I love this little bag. It is a drawstring bag, I think. Yes, it is. It has a little drawstring. This is so fun. Whoop. That just came with them. I have a lot of doll size bags. Probably too many <laughs> for how many dolls I have. Uh, next up we have these velour track pants. These are gonna look so cute on Phoenix, who's my dancer. These are so cute. So they're not pleasant company, they are American Girl brand. It's a cool strap. I believe this is called the warm-up outfit. Just like you know before with modeling it. It's got a headband. Ooh, ooh. This adorable tie-dye shirt and there's a little butterfly there. I think it's a bit too bright for you to see it. But there's a little bright butterfly with diamantes. I really loved the tie-dye being green, pink and then purple. I think it's a color combination you don't see a lot in American Girl. That like deeper plum color. And my favorite part of this, oh, other favorite part of this whole outfit is this hoodie. It's got a little embroidered butterfly on this pocket and the inside of the hood is tie-dye. It's so cute. It's a nice plain white hoodie. Oh, it's got a strap on the sleeve. Didn't know about that. This is fun. Again, I think it's on a great con Phoenix. This is an Amazon package. Now I've heard from other people that if you order from Amazon, the doll just arrives in their box, but that wasn't the case. And I think that's because it was an international order. So I haven't opened the doll since Claudia, which was in 2021. All right. Now is the time where you do the old AG group thing of guess who I got? <laughs> I got 122. This is my first Joss mold. Now I get to have a look at her. Wow. I think her lashes are even. All right. Let's open her up. So, I'm gonna hold her up so you can see. She's got her All About Us book. Woo! AG Rewards. I can't really buy off the American Girl website because it's so expensive to ship here. Um, but here is oh, the new doll smell. Um, the All About Us book that I will be filling out. Um, maybe for her, maybe for one of my existing dolls. I feel like it's her book. I should probably fill it out for her. She's really pretty. All right, let's take. All right. All right. And I've heard people say that this new neck, because I haven't opened, no, Claudia had this, but 
some of the dolls I've opened haven't had this neck thing, so I'm going to do the neck thing. And don't forget the hairnet cord. Oh, I got the hairnet cord. Okay, let's take off. She feels light, not like in a bad way, but she feels like not as firmly stuffed as some of my other dolls. And I know that everyone hates this made outfit. I kinda like it. Like it's not great, but it's not bad. Oh no! She's the like slightly grittier vinyl that Esty, my Claudie, does. These shoes are fun. And it's not glitter that comes off. I'm glad that toe cap is fabric. I was worried that that was gonna be plastic. But no, this made outfit's not that bad. Like I'm gonna try and use it. I think it'll look cute on Robin, who's my Chrissa. Right. Let me have another look at her face. I think her eyelashes are pretty even. Yeah. She's looking pretty even. Her lip paint looks good. Oh, she's so cute. Here, let me get up close so you can see her face. She's really pretty. All right, hand at time. Oh my God. It's really shiny. I haven't had a new doll with straight hair since truly mean I was 64 in 2015 and the wig texture is so different. I feel like mine has bangs that are slightly longer. Let's brush these out. Uh oh. She's gorgeous. Oh, my camera's about to die. Well, that's been this opening video. I'm hopefully gonna have more clips in here. I might just have to charge my camera and come back. Put her in a cute outfit. Maybe I'll compile this with my next opening video and you can have me opening two dolls in one video. I think that's what I'll do. This has been me opening this doll. I have to think of a good name for her. Hmm. My so far top name was Atlas. But I don't think if she's giving an atlas, I think she's giving a Drew, which was my second name. Drew. I think, I think that's what we're feeling. She's really pretty. Yeah. Her hair is gorgeous. Like, this is one of the longest doll wigs I think I have. Especially for straight doll hair. She's really fun. I can see her getting very messy on a photo shoot though. Her highlights are so pretty. Wow. So yes, this is Drew. Maybe Jasper, maybe Drew. I have to sit with it a little bit. She doesn't have a name yet. Other than just being adorable. But this is this girlie. Thank you for joining me on opening her. I bought things again. <laughs> Welcome guys to AG Dolls Down Under. I'm Brizzly. I've got Mona here. You saw her in the last section of this video. So this is Mona, my truly me number 122, who is brand new to me. Uh, she's so cute. I put her in this pleasant company outfit and she looks adorable in it. Um, so Mona's gonna join us for opening some more American Girl goodies. I have a wig, a gray market package, and then a doll from Depop who is getting me towards having all the face molds. Um, ignore the crustiness and the very, very poor sounding voice. I just came back from a weekend of LARP and I played a character who was in charge of some things. So my voice is gone, <laughs> but I couldn't bear to wait any longer before opening all this stuff up, obviously. <laughs> so this wig is for my mini me, who I call Tiny Rosalie. Her name is Thalia, but Tiny Rosalie. So it says, thank you so much for supporting Asta Daisy with your purchase. They'd like a five star review. Um, and it's got a kitty cat that says thank you on it. Now this is from a shop that specializes in like reborn style dolls, but the wig was listed as the same size that American Girl wigs use. 
and it was one of the only like auburn colored wings with bangs in a shorter length. I'm probably gonna have to decurl it, but this color looks promising. Let's have a see. Oh yeah, it's got ringlets. I'm gonna have to probably take those out. Oh, it's soft. Ooh, the texture is strange. The elastic on the capture is fun too, but it looks like the right size. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do something to these curls, but that's looking pretty good. I'll obviously try all of these on dolls and show you at the end of this video. I don't do that nearly enough. The wig cap's pretty good. It doesn't look too thin. This is made for more of like a porcelain style doll. She even has a little cow leg, and I get a little cow leg. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. I'm gonna pop. Oh, it's still got the <laughs> half the wig cap on it. There we go. There are bobby pins holding in all these curls. That's really cute. All right, package number two is from the Grey Market. So basically, sometimes you can find American Girl brand items on eBay that. I believe are like seconds from factory um, they all come from China and I live in Australia so it's usually cheaper to get things from here uh, from China to here than it is from America to here so I'm not complaining is it slightly morally gray yes um, so I picked up a wig some shoes and an outfit and the outfit didn't come with shoes okay, okay. The first pair of shoes I got was a little grey pair of like soccer shoes. I'm always running out of sneakers for my dolls. Oh, they're like a pleather. I thought they were canvas. So these will peel eventually. But they're cute. They're just a plain grey like soccer shoe. And they've got white soles and the laces are pink. These are really fun. A nice basic. Um, next up, I got a pair of brown loafers. This is the ra main reason I did this order, is because I really wanted these shoes. Oh, these are nice. They're a pleather, they're American Girl brand. They are awesome. Yep. Yeah, worth the order. I like a pleather, they're slightly textured. Um, they're white on the inside, so they shouldn't stain at all, but black on the sole. These are adorable. I'll show you the wig last. No, actually, I'll show you the wig now. So this is Luciana's wig, I believe. Yeah, I can see the purple streak. This is Luciana's wig. And I bought this for the doll that I'm about to open up. Um, I may end up keeping this as her wig. I love wigs with bangs. And the Luciana wig has these cute little side front bangs. Oh, it's such a cute wig. Yeah, she's definitely gonna get this wig. Take the wig cap off. So soft. And the purple streak. It's like a really subtle purple streak. I thought it was way more pronounced. Let's see how many like bits of the tracks of the hair are actually purple. There's only like one little weft that's purple. So if you were really, really desperate to have Luciana without this purple streak, you could buy one of these eBay wigs and like unpick that purple chunk. There are a couple of discrepancies on the inside of the wig cap, so I can see that that might be why it was sold at such a cheap price. I think I paid 18 Australian dollars for this wig. It's a pretty good price for a doll wig. Yeah, this is fun. Really like this wig. Definitely gonna be putting this on someone. I'm a sucker for wigs with bangs. Because I have bangs. <laughs> All right. Well, last but not least, we have, I believe this is the Coconut Cutie outfit from American Girl. So it comes with this shirt with coconut on it. Love coconut. Yeah, some of the stitching's a little dodgier, but it is tagged American Girl. Whether or not it's, yeah, it's got an American Girl tag on the inside too. Looks legit to me. This is really cute. And I own Coconut, so I'm excited for my dolls to have a shirt with their dog on it. That's adorable. It comes with a denim jacket with real buttons. I thought these would be press study buttons. This one's also tagged American Girl. 
Isn't that cute? And I have a couple patches I really want to put on a doll size denim jacket, so I might end up putting some patches on this one just because I didn't pay that much for it. And yes, it is American Girl brand, but it's got some dodgy stitching here and there. This is really sweet. I love the pocket flaps. The collar looks like it's going to be a bit of an awkward height on the dolls, but we'll see. I'll show them on the, at the end of the video. And some three quarter length Capri style pants with Velcro, also American Girl brand. This one has belt loops in it. I love when doll size pants have belt loops, but I hate putting belt loops in doll size pants. There's a little side split on them too. These are really fun. They're a bit thinner than I was expecting them to be. Oh, there's Velcro in the cargo pockets. The pockets have Velcro on them, people. That's so cute. Yeah, love these pants. So fun. All right. It's time to open a doll again. Oops. All right. So I'm trying to work my way towards all the different face molds. And this doll I've seen on Depop over and over and over and over and over again. Like she kept popping up in my recommended. And I sent an offer, but the offer wasn't accepted. So I was like, I'll wait a little bit longer and I'll send it another offer. And she did accept this one. So I ended up paying 50 Australian dollars for her with shipping. And she doesn't have her original wig. She has a short boy wig. Um, and she does come in her meat outfit. Oh, and I can already see that she's grubby. So she's going to be a bit of a fixer upper. Look at the legs. It's a Kaya in her meat outfit. This feels like real suede. This is strange. Oh, she's missing quite a few of the strands. That's very worn. Well, that is a very loose arm. <laughs> and she's got a wig cap on her head. Yeah, she's in a boy wig. This looks like your typical Monique boy wig. Ooh, that is coarse. That feels like I am patting like a cow. That is ooh, crusty. Okay, I'm just gonna de-wig her while we're here right now because it's already coming off. This wig is awful. This wig is awful. It's really crusty. Like she doesn't look bad with it. I think she's cute with this wig. Does she have Does she have a new eyes? I'm struggling to tell. I think. Does she have the new eyes? They do slightly have a downwards gaze. What does her tag say her year is? We're gonna strip her. No, oh, she's 2008. Those are the new eyes. They just look like they were slightly down for a bit there. Her limbs aren't, oh yeah, her limbs are pretty loose. Look at that. Yeah, all right. We're gonna clean this girlie up. I might do that in a separate video, but I'm gonna continue to film it now. All right, we're taking her wig off because it's already coming off. Wow, that wasn't particularly difficult. What brand is this? This is a Monique wig. Why does it feel crusty? <laughs> Ooh. I think someone must have made this as a boy doll in like, boy doll era AG2, but like 20, 2014-ish. Because like, this is a wig that's been played with. I mean, I might be able to boil wash it and use it eventually, even for a photo shoot. Let's like slide on her new wig now, just to see how she looks. It's gonna be very cute. All right. I'm desperate to start customizing this doll now. <laughs> what I'm also gonna do is take off Minnie Rosalind's wig and put her new wig on. Um, let's do that now and then I'm gonna stop this video after those wigs are on and you can see some dolls in the new outfits. But what I am gonna do is clean up this girl in another video. So, um, I have popped Minnie Rosalie's new wig on 
and put Mona in this uh, coconut cutie outfit. So here's Mona in her new outfit with the, the shoes on. Okay. So this coconut shirt is slightly glittery and this denim jacket's a really lightweight fabric. As I thought, the collar does stick up, but if I press it, it'll be fine. The pants are three quarter length and then the shoes go on top. There's a little knee dart in these pants that sits a little lower than the doll's knees. They're fun, they're funky. They fit the doll really good. I really like how she looks. But also, Mona looks pretty in everything. Like, she's quickly becoming one of my top dolls. Put her next to Raven. And here we have Minnie Rosalie and her new wig. How good of a colour match is that? Like, I'm not a natural ginger, I'm a natural dirty blonde, but this is the colour I prefer my hair to be. Um, I've been dyeing my hair a shade of ginger since I was like 18. Um, but I really like Mona in this wig. Oh no, Mona, that's Mona. Thalia, Mini Rosalie. Um, I do want to maybe not trim it, but maybe brush out the curls a bit. I would probably need to curl it. Her hair is straight, her hair would be that long. It's a bit long. There is currently a cat behind the camera. Um, so I probably will trim it just a bit. Just so it's a little closer to my hair. Maybe not as short as it is currently right now. Because this is the first time I've had my hair this short. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick to it. But I do know that I'm going to stick to bangs. So she's got, a go she's got a wig with bangs at last. So she's actually my mini me. Yay! <laughs> and then I will grab poor bold Kaya. So if you want to watch in the next video, me fixing up this poor lady, I'm going to do that now, but you won't see it for a little while. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video when we give poor Kaya some love so that she's less wobbly and more herself. Well, not even much herself. She just is going to be someone new. Thank you so much, so much for watching. If you did like this video, feel free to comment, subscribe, chat to me about your favorite thing that I ordered. If you have any questions about where these things came from, I can provide links. Uh, it's lovely to chat and make videos. I really wanted to film this one yesterday so I could open up all the goodies, but I was the shell of a human after LARP. <laughs> I was very, 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 very crusty. So getting me at day two post LARP, slightly less of a disaster. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.